everyone in this session we are going to talk about the power bi embedded playground power bi embedded playground is a tool provided by microsoft to help the developers explore and understand the capabilities of embedding power bi content into their application it offers an interactive environment to experiment with embedded reporting dashboards and tiles and provides code samples to help you quickly get started some of the key components are the interactive demos, code samples, customization options, embedded open generation, and documents and tutorials. If we talk about the interactive demos, the playground offers a variety of interactive demos where you can see how embedding works. These demos show you how to embed it, report, dashboard, and tiles into your application. You can interact with these embedded elements just as you would in the Power BI service. The next one is the code samples. The playground provides code samples in multiple programming languages, including JavaScript, .NET, and Python. These samples demonstrate how to authenticate, generate embedded codes, and embed Power BI content into your web applications. The next one is the customization option. Through the playground, you can learn how to customize the embedded Power BI content. This includes setting default filters, enabling or disabling the filter pane, configuring the visual interaction, and more. The next one is the embedded token generation. The playground allows you to generate embedded tokens directly from the interface. This feature is useful for testing and understanding the token generation without needing to set up a full backend service. Next one is the documentation and tutorials. So it provides a link to extensive documentation and tutorials to help you understand the Power BI, REST APIs, Power BI client libraries, and best practice for embedding the Power BI content. Now let's go to the Power BI service and see how this works. So we are in our Power BI home screen. So here, what I'll do is I will first choose a workspace that I want to work in. So I want to work in this skills code reports. And here I have create, created this Power BI course report. So I will open it. Now uh, I want to see the embedded playground for this report. For that, you can go in the file option. And over here, you have this embed report option. And you can use this developer playground. Now, this would basically open a new page for you. This is specifically for this report. But if you click over here in the home option, so it would tell you that what is the exact thing that you want to try. You want to try the developer sandbox or you want to explore the APIs. So over here, what I will do is I will choose this developer sandbox option, which would be again opening the same page that we landed on first. Here I can select a report or basically use a sample report as well. I can also use the embedded token. So first I will click on use the report. And here I can select the workspace and again, I can choose the report. So it would basically open that page again, which I landed on the first time. So here at the bottom part, I can see my Power BI report and I can easily switch between the pages. Now on the left hand side, you have this embedded report APIs. Now, how do they work? So let's say if you are embedding it into your web portal or any application and you don't want to like see the things over there causing any trouble. Basically, you want to debug it before it has been published. So this particular area would be acting as a developer's sandbox for you. Here, what I can do is I can test all these features. For example, I have the general options, properties, options related to navigation, authoring, accessibility, and other as well. So in this case, over here on the right hand side, I have the functionality to see the code that is basically running to execute this particular options. Now let's say that you want to test out how the sprint feature would work. So you can just drag and drop it over here where it says insert here the code you want to run after the report is rendered. So basically, if you want to keep the print option over here, after keeping it, what you can do is you can just run it. So you can see the report has been rendered and now it is showing you the print option. So basically, this is wor working fine. If you want to change any parameters in that, you can also put in some parameters. For example, let's say that over here you have filters and slicers. And currently you have this slicer state option. So you can see how this slicer is working. What are the different values? And if you want to change the values, you can directly click on the values and then change it. So let's say if I don't want to use the logical and operator over here, I want to use the logical or operator. So I can put that. And then if it's correct for this report, you can click on run and it would run it. So first I will reset the state so that the print option is no longer valid. And then I can put this select slicer state over here. Now again, I will click on add and I will select or, and if this is valid, it would run on that report.
so it depends whether your logical operator is valid at that point whether that reports make any sense after applying that particular changes over there so you can see those all values and basically you can interact with these values again if you want to reset this code and you want to bring it to the original state you can use the reset code option also you can use the copy code if you want to copy the code now let's say that you are using any other report page and over here you have applied the slicer so currently the slicer was set to its default limit but you have interacted with this slicer now you want to bring it back to the default state so over here i will again say filters and slicers and i will say set slicers state and i will run it after running it if you go to the page 2 you can see the slicer state has been brought back to the normal that means i can see the complete data so this is how you can find out that these options are working for your report and if they are not working and if you want to debug it you can do from this part only now this was all about the developer sandbox also on the right hand side you have this option you use the javascript or use the typescript so if you want to switch between the languages currently it is giving us two options to switch between javascript and typescript i can do it from now then we have the explore our apis so in some cases i'm not interested in seeing the code that is happening over there i'm just interested in testing out the features so in that case i can use these apis over here i can select any api and then i can also see it in the developer sandbox and i can also see the code snippet for it so here what i can see is i can see all these apis and if i don't want to see what that is happening behind it as i was able to see in the developer sandbox i can directly come over here and i can test out each feature on it for example if i want to see how the print would work so i can click on print and it would show you the printing and how it work if you want to see the reload function you can click on reload and it would then reload your report page for you so here test out various features and, and also test them for example you have adjust slicer and to bring it back to the default state so you can click on that and it would then try to bring it slicer back to the default state so this is how you test out all these features also if you want to see the code that is acting behind it what you do is you can click over here in the three dots icon and you can see the show code snippet option you have the open in dev sandbox which would be opening the same thing in this developer sandbox option so this was a basic introduction of power bi embedded playground